it was pretty much the, you know, my generation was this evil one, okay? It was a killer. And, you know, for many years, it was unchecked, okay? Then along in the 1950s, they started getting a hand on it, they developed a vaccine. We all had these smallpox shots. If you, get, if you see people about my age that have that depression, there's a depression. Isn't that the one they give you with the gun in your arm? Yeah, and it yeah. left the scars. Yeah, it's round like a circle. Scars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was your small pump status. And then they finally got it to the point where, you know, just like you hear with these evil of people, they know exactly where everybody is, and they say, this guy got on a plane and came Dallas and they put him in quarantine and that's what we can do that. They finally got it to where they contained it down to this one person and they cured him and then nobody has had smallpox. Okay. So my question is why? If we've cured it and eradicated it, why do we need to keep the virus? Why we come back? Why don't we just destroy it? Yeah. So we have to see which one of these it answers it. Does this answer one of our questions? No. Yes. Well, it answers this one. It's in a test tube. Yeah. It answers why. I mean, where? This one answers where? B. Like the flu virus of 1918, the smallpox virus, could do unimaginable harm if it were let loose on the Yes. B. Does that answer a quest, one of our questions? Yeah. It's telling you how it Although there hasn't been a case of smallpox in years, the virus still exists. Is that it if it was let loose. Yeah. Okay, so I think what you're thinking is this sentence is important because it explains that it's a serious thing. I think that belongs up there. Like the flu virus of 1918, the smallpox virus, like Ebola, could do unimaginable harm if it was left loose on the world. Although there hasn't been a case of it in years, the virus A second dose is in a <laughs> Okay, what, what's this? Second dose. Terrorist attacking some smallpox? Well, 
<laughs> What's this? What does a, what does a headline writer for the newspaper have to do? What is a head, what is the headline writer? The, the reporter writes the, the story. And then when it gets to the newspaper, the headline writer what what is that? Why is that familiar to you? What is this person doing? They're reading this thing and they're writing out the main idea of this story. That's what a headline writer does. Here's your topic, in a sense. It's a little broader than our topic. This is the topic. This is the main idea of this story. So there are real life applications of writing out main ideas. That's what headlines of newspaper stories are. Okay, let's go on a break until 10 after and then we'll come back and look at the rest of the